I'm gonna share you a few pet G filament advices which I will be super happy if I had opportunity to see them all on same place. Here is an example of one print gone uh, bad in many possible ways. This is a patchy filament as mentioned and there are a few defects here to see. The first problem obviously is heavy stringing and the second major problem is overhangs uh, creeping up. Let's start from beginning. Uh, the stringing usually happen uh, if uh, the temperature is too high or your reaction settings are wrong. You really need to find your sweet spot. Uh, basically here I was printing 250 degrees, which is amazing uh, on the bed slinger, but in the enclosed printer it is just too much. And uh, the heavy stringing is apparent, making uh, the filament uh, stuck to, to nozzle and that is introducing defects all over the place. The retraction here was 0.8 millimeters and I increased it to one millimeter. At that point, I got uh, less stringing, as seen here, still present, but uh, we see here that uh, creeping on overhangs is catastrophic, ruining the print. So again, we have the problem. The next step was to reduce the temperature to 240 degree. And again, this is for enclosed printer. Uh, in my case, for many different bed slingers, 250, for fast printing of PETG is a uh, spot-on temperature. But in this case, 240 uh, made um, uh, overhangs print perfectly without any issue. But uh, again, we had a lot of stringing, which is causing uh, filament buildups and introducing a lot of uh, defects all around the place, which is uh, something we don't want. As last resort in this case, everything pointed out that filament is not dry and by drying the filament for around uh, three hours 12 hours in total we get something like this a perfect print which is relatively complicated uh, only defect what we have here is uh, because the cobra s1 is amazing with uh, uh, bed adhesion i'm sarcastic of course uh, we have really bad uh, layer separation on the first layer and that basically is failed print for me. This is not usable for further use by my quality standards, but overall the print is amazing if you look at the defects with which we had. By following these steps, you can make your print look like this. Perfect in every possible way. The bed is cold, but you see, you hear the click. Uh, the bed adhesion is perfect. Uh, we still have a uh, minimal stringing, but that is normal. There are no defects. The print looks beautiful and that's it. Help me by subscribing and until next time, see ya.